Hi guys, here's another problem on math application, this time about distance problem. Let's say Emily left the airport and traveled toward the train station at an average speed of 45 kilometers per hour. Eduardo left one hour later and traveled in the same direction but with an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. How long did Emily travel before Eduardo caught up? You can pause the video and see if you can solve this distance problem. Now let's solve this problem together. The strategy is organize the given in a table. So there are two main characters here. We have Emily and Eduardo. Let's recall that distance is equal to rate times time. So for our row labels, let's write distance, rate, and time. And let's organize now the given. It says that Emily traveled at the rate of 45 kilometers per hour and Eduardo traveled at the rate of 60 kilometers per hour. We do not know how long Eduardo and Emily traveled, so we are going to use a variable to represent either Emily or Eduardo's time. If we let t be the length of time Eduardo traveled, then Emily's time should be represented as t plus 1 because Emily started one hour earlier. On the other hand, if you let Emily to be t, then Eduardo should be t minus 1. But it is easier to use addition than subtraction, so this is the better representation of the variables. Now, we know that distance is equal to the rate times the time. We know the rate, we have the representation for the time, we can have our expression for the distance. We only have to multiply this rate times the time. So for Emily's distance, we can represent it as 45 times the quantity t plus 1. And for Eduardo's distance, we multiply 60 times the variable t. And we have just completed this table. Now, what equation are we going to use in order to solve this problem? Notice that the distance traveled by Emily and the distance traveled by Eduardo would be the same when Eduardo caught up with Emily. That means if Eduardo traveled for t hours and Emily traveled for t plus 1 hours, the distances each traveled must be the same. And what are those distances? Those distances are this yellow expression. So these two yellow expressions must be equal. So at this point, we have the equation. It's just a matter of solving this equation. We have a monomial times a binomial. We distribute 45 to the binomial t plus 1 and we copy the right side. Then we gather similar terms. So we subtract 45t from both sides of the equation. And simplifying, the right side is 15t, the left side is copied. And dividing both sides by 3, we have t equals 3. Now, we should be careful here. Many students would just stop and say, the answer is 3. That is wrong, because going back to the question, it asks for how long did Emily travel before Eduardo caught up. So, we are after the time of Emily, which is represented as t plus 1, not t. So, for Emily's time, it should be t plus 1, so... The answer should be 4 hours. After Emily traveled 4 hours, that means Eduardo traveled for 3 hours, both of them would have traveled equal distances. And this problem is now solved. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.